Namaste. Hi guys. I am starting a series today that I know is going to be super helpful for you. And the name currently is going to be Being in the Flow or, or Going with the Flow, though that's, that's a little more cliche. It's probably going to be Being in the Flow and possibly Being in the Flow of Magic. Okay, so what I will do with this series is it's going to be about intuition and following your inner wisdom. And so what I'll do is share a story from my life, usually something that has happened recently, and then pick out the elements that made it work and that made it a flow. Okay, so it's helpful for you. All right, so it'll always be a story and then, you know, the how-to. And the story is important, and I think the story will also give you um, inspiration. All right, so I was just looking at my notes. So being in the flow. All right, and so with me, I'm sort of old school, so I'll leave some things out for privacy sake, uh, mine or the other person. So you'll see me pause, and I'll, I may use a very general phrase, okay? And that's why I'm doing that, just for privacy reasons. Um, and that is old school. I know now everything is pretty much, you know. Anyway, so the wonderful story is um, I was at a small, at a get-together. A friend was leaving town, actually. It's kind of sad. Um, leaving with her family, her husband, and two kids. And it was a new friend, so it was sort of sad to see them go. And so a group of friends uh, went out with them. And it was actually the second time. They had a little house party at their place in the backyard. Whoops. And then this was um, actually just going out. And they, actually the kids were there because it was a very sort of uh, family-friendly environment, whatever. And there's music and dancing and a live band. So there I met uh, another friend of theirs for the second time. Seems very nice. I'm going to call him Dwayne. Um, and so we were um, talking. Everybody was talking. It ended, friends got in the car and drove off to their, their new life. Um, I ended up hanging out with Dwayne a little bit because it was still very er early in the evening and walking, uh, walking with him uh, towards um, both of our, our homes. We were going in the same direction. And so, um, and I knew that, I found out in talking to him that there was something that he sort of, uh, was interested in that would actually be really helpful to me in my life. So that's why I'm like leaving it vague. And you know, not a big thing, something that he could probably help me with. And so um, we hung out, had a great time, very nice guy. And so then I, that evening I said, you know what, darn it, I need to, I should ask him if he'd be willing to help me with this, thing, this problem. And um, I had given like my card, but I didn't have a way to contact him. So I said, yeah, I want to run into him again because I just want to ask him if he would be able to help me with this. And so that was, you know, last night. Now today I'm on the bus and who walks in uh, but Dwayne and, um, you know, Dwayne, <laughs> I don't know, I just pulled that name out. And um, so he gets on the bus and I'm like, wow, because I see him about to get on the bus. I'm like, that is so amazing because I was like, I want to run into him. Now, why this gets into sort of law of attraction and the woo-woo stuff rather than just, I think, just coincidence and um, is there's a couple of reasons. One, I take the bus all the time, you know, use, I'm out and about using public transportation for a variety of reasons. Never seen this person before. And they're pretty striking. I would have noticed if a uh, very, very tall guy kind of big guy, tall guy, I would have noticed, um, you know, because I really see, and you know how you see the regulars wherever you go, like if you go to a certain place, you have the regular people there at that time, you go at different times, you see different people. Never seen them before in months and months. And so he gets on, we start talking, and I'm just like, I know that it's intuition, and, um, and the reason I know it's intuition is this. I was even in town because I had an errand to do uh, related to my work and I forgot some keys that I needed. And I was really mad with myself because I packed everything up, you know, taken public transport and, you know, just the waiting and the time, and then I forgot the key. So I started to get upset with myself, but then my, you know, part of my mind said, it's okay, you know, maybe there's a reason. 
And I thought I was just being optimistic, you know, being like, yeah, it's, it's okay. There's always a reason, you, you know. So I relaxed. I got something to eat. Um, I did some errands. And in fact, I missed a bus. I was very close. I said, no, you know what? I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to relax. Do what I need to do. Do what I can do. And then I got the next bus. So that's when he gets on. So a couple of things had to happen. I would not have seen him if I had not forgotten the keys because I wouldn't have been going back on the bus that I was. And in talking to him, he also said, you know what, it's weird that you, um, yeah, catch me on the bus because he's like, I, you know, it was the middle of the day and he's like, yeah, I'm never on the bus at this time. And um, I got to ask him um, for the favor that I needed and he was like, oh, that's fine, not a problem at all. And I knew it was because I had said, you know, I need to run into this person again. Um, and it happened so quickly. And so that's an example, being in the flow. So there are a couple things to take from it. One is be clear, and I'm gonna put my clarity video up here in the corner so that you can watch that. I, I was very clear on what I wanted, but as many other teachers, I'm sure you've heard them say, don't say the how, because you don't know the how. I didn't say, oh, I want to run into Dwayne on the bus. I mean, or, oh yeah, I want to run into him on this day. No, put out what it is you need and want and trust that that higher mind, I like the image of, it's like being in a helicopter. It's like we're in traffic and there, there is, the higher wisdom is in a helicopter so we can see all the various ways. So you don't have to say the how. The how could have been uh, you know, I could have been at a bookstore, I could have been at a cafe, I could have been at a talk or a music event, I could have been anywhere. Let spirit handle that, okay? That's kind of too big and too complicated for you. And also, you don't want to stifle, and this was a message I was getting, you don't want to be so controlling that it can't happen. So the key here is be clear on what it is, and it can be something mundane. My request was, was you know, it wasn't anything fancy, it wasn't a big grand thing I needed, but it manifested the next day because I also went with the flow. When it seemed like things were going wrong, there's often a reason. So the other thing is to really listen and follow simple guidance that you're given. I got the feeling, you know what, don't rush to catch the previous bus. Just relax, catch the next one. If I had caught the previous one, would not have seen him. All right, and it would have been like, oh yeah, you didn't get to do the work you were supposed to do because you didn't bring the keys and you, and you didn't even also get this request filled that you needed. So get clear and then be open to little, basically the little quiet voice, okay? And a lot of us just don't hear that. We don't hear it. And so your prayers, your requests are being answered, but you're not hearing so it's just bouncing into nothingness because you're not taking the steps you need in fact um, before I made this video I got the quote again uh, from the Bible that says you know ask and ye shall receive and I really was kind of like really just ask but there has to be to receive there has to be that receptivity right there has to be that listening and that is what's missing so anyway if you love this video give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate that, or, or give a comment, share something that's happened for you. All right? Be well. Namaste.